Hi, my name is Avea, and I'm from Ms. Baggins' house's room. And my name is Yeager, and I'm from Mrs. Rupert's room. And today is Wednesday, November 17th. A cycle day 6. And right now, we're going to send it off to Mr. Hurricane Payne for... Your weather report. Thanks, Adrian Nevea. That was fantastic. Hey, C.E. Cole, welcome to Wednesday morning, and here's your weather. You're waking up to chilly conditions. Temperatures right now are in the mid-30s. But don't worry, it's going to warm up today. High is going to get into the upper 50s. Mostly cloud cover today, though. Now, Thursday, we got an iffy day for, for weather. Maybe some possible rain. So those stratus clouds might be moving in. So a lot more cloud cover than has been in the last few days. But it should be warmer. And then the temperatures tonight are going to go down to about 45 degrees. Our question of the day is coming from a fifth grader, Nora Sebastian in Miss Wenzel's class. And he asks, Mr. Payne, the Sahara Desert, was it ever an ocean? Something that I heard. You know what, Sebastian? You're on to something there. The Sahara Desert, one of the biggest deserts in the world, was at one time an ocean seaway. It was a seaway. So how do they know that? This, this desert full of sand, how do they know that it once held water? Well, scientists made discoveries, and they made discoveries of finding fossils of alligators, snakes, and some of the largest catfish they've ever discovered. And those clues and some other things lead to us believing that the Sahara Desert once had a, was a body of salt water. A lot of questions coming up this week about deserts, how they formed, and what's the largest desert in the world. You'd be surprised at that answer. C.E. Cole, have a great Wednesday. Nevaeh, Adrian, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Hurricane Payne, for sending it back to us. Today is a science and social study day. It is also grade five chorus and grade six clubs. A little more reminder for a cafeteria. Don't get up unless you have permission to. When you take up your tray, make sure you have your mask up over your mouth and nose. And also don't cause any trouble. Today's national days are National Butter Day, Take a Hike Day, and Baklava Day. Well, I hope you feel better.